Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at doing a, a sample project. Uh, this project, we just conceived it and we just want to give it a try. And it's going to be a full app, similar to what we have on the Django website, but it's going to be specifically for Nigeria settings. So we're going to have three questions. One will be, who are you going to vote for in the next election? Two is going to be, which local governments are you in? And three is going to be, which American president are you going to vote? And those are what we're going to be looking at. And to do that, I'm quickly going to share my screen. It's going to be very fast. I'm going to be very fast in doing this. So if you follow up, you can do it. That's the way I'm doing it. Uh, the course we are using are just the course we've we'll used in the previous class, so it's gonna be. Easy. Please, if you can hear me from the uh, this thing, can, am I heard from? Am I heard from there? Check out and make sure you can hear me from there before I continue. So all the course we are using, they are already here. Jamwaeknekoini.com slash Django Steps. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Can I be heard on the, who is using the earpiece? Earpiece. Okay. Um, Abdulamin and Amos, am I audible on the earpiece? No, no, no. No, sir. Okay. Yeah, so I can be here. Yeah. So the first thing we do now is to create a new folder on the desktop. Call it Code Jan. I've created a new folder on my desktop. I call it New Jan. We used Code Jan for the previous project. So I just created a new one, New Jan. That's the first thing. The next step is open the folder in your VS Code. So this is my VS Code, and I've done to file and open folder, then I selected the folder. That's why I have new done here. That's the next step. This, what we're going to do now is going to show you that developing a website in Django is very, very easy. That's why I'm taking it now very fast. Then what's the next step? Install Django by doing Python dash mpip install Django. So I'm going to close out this, my welcome. And I'm gonna do controversy or I go to terminal and click on new terminal. So this is my new terminal coming out. So this is my new terminal. So what do I do now? I'm already inside new jam. So what I do is that I just simply write this code, Python dash M pip install Django. So I'm gonna say what? Python dash m pip install Django. That's easy as that. Then I press the enter key, then Django is gonna get installed. So like those of you that followed me before, Django is already in your system, so it might not take time. But if you've not installed Django before, it's gonna take a while for the Django to finish installation. That's the next step. Uh, Amos, you guys can follow this class. It's a, it's a new class. Make sure you're following. If you don't follow, make sure you play the video and follow it. Hmm? It's a new class. Both of all of you. Hmm? I created a folder on the desktop, new Django. Opened it in my VS Code. Then I wrote the first line of code. Python slash m. Python space dash m. Pip install Django. That's the first thing. You can see the root requirements already satisfied because I already have Django. So what's the next line of action? Python dash M Django version. I want to check out the version of Django that I have. So I simply say Python dash M. Then I ask it what Django dash dash version. That's how you check out the version. Okay. D is supposed to be in small letter. You can see 3.1. That's the Django version that I have. Are we following? Are we following? It's pretty simple. Ahmad, are you following? 
Are you sure? What Django version are you using? Okay. Very simple. This is the assignment I gave you people. I'm doing it with you now. So what's the next line of action? Django admin. Now that we've installed Django, we are not going to use the Django admin command to start project known as poster. So I'm going to do that now by simply saying, simply saying what? Django admin start project poster. But well, I'm not creating poster. So I'm going to say Django dash admin. And I'm doing what? I'm starting what? Project. What project am I starting? I'm starting elect poster. Elect poster. Election poster. That's what I'm starting. So that's why I'm calling it elect poster. Very interesting. Make sure you're doing this. It's very straightforward. We'll start it and finish up our Django website immediately now. Make sure you're following up. It's very simple the way we are moving. So you can see that my elect poster, if you look here now, you can see my elect poster. If I click on Hello, it, sir. I'm going to see another elect poster. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah. The, what's the last code, sir? Python admin. Django admin, start project, elect poster. Okay. Django admin. You can now have your manage.py. Then you have the other Python project inside. Python uh, application inside elect poster too, which we have your URLs, your settings, and the rest. We already know this. So I'm gonna get back to the website. So that is what we have now. So I'm gonna quickly CD into my elect poster. That's the next thing. So since I've created my elect poster, let me CD into it. I'm gonna say CD into elect poster. We are starting a Django project. We are finishing it immediately. Very, very interesting. This is straightforward. Make sure you are doing it. So you can see now I'm inside the link. We are missing. Sir, we are missing. Uh, you are can missing. watch the video uh, online if you did not follow me when I started. I was following you, but uh, you know we were waiting for the Django to install or come up. So you have gone ahead. Wait for the Django to install if you already followed the previous class. That Django is already on. No, your own ran faster than ours. I don't know if anybody is having the, uh, that kind of problem. So please help us, sir. Please, so that we can follow you. Everybody is following. You. Everybody is following please. perfectly. Uh, uh, please help me, sir. Please. You can. Okay, you can watch on YouTube live. I don't want help you know, I, to make other people not to follow. I don't want to delay the class. I want this one to be a very fast class. This we, we, we will follow. Okay, please. I, I just you know I love to follow you. Please help us, sir. Please. I just told you what I would do. What you will say will not affect it because following right. you will no not problem. make other people not to be interested in the course. No, it's not me. We, we have to be you. very fast. I will move once I get it. So you can follow the YouTube one. It's the same video. Take your own time. Follow it at a slow pace. You enjoy it. Okay, so let me continue. So since I'm in a leg poster, the next thing I'm going to do is to use manage.py to run server so that I will see my website. And that is the next instruction here. You can see it here, Python manager by run server. So let me do that immediately. Python manage dot by run server. Okay, this is straightforward. We don't want to delay much because when we are delaying, everybody will not follow up perfectly. Once every, okay, you can see my is running perfectly here. So I'm gonna simply copy this HTTP localhost port 8000. So once I copy it, I'm going to get here. Then I'm going to paste it here. So that is my localhost. Let me see whether it's showing the basic website. You can see this is my basic Django website, the new website I just created. OK. So I'm going to go to the next instruction. And the next instruction is that I'm going to start a new app inside my project, and that app is going to be post. So to do that, I'm going to simply say Python manage.py start app post. Python manage.py start app post. So to do that, I'm going to open up a new bash. When I open up a new bash, I'm going to simply cd into my elect poster. 
Okay, I'm inside the elect poster now. So here is where I'm going to give the command. Python. Python manage dot by start app post. That's the new app I'm just creating. You can see how it works. And once you look here now, you can see your post app. This is your post app you just created. If you click here, you're going to see all your model views and every other thing apart from the URL that you've been created. Okay. So you can see this is moving perfectly. So inside our elect post, we have elect poster and post we just created. So what's the next thing we do? You see, this is why I prepared this on the website. It shows you all the steps in a very easy way. So the next thing we do is to write the first view. That's the first thing we do, write the first view. So we simply go to our here, use.py, inside the post, and write this simple code, which, like I told you, is also on the Django website. I'm going to open up the Django project website. It's a program. I'm going to go to the first tutorial. Okay. So these are the processes we are following that is already on my website. We're in the what? Writing your first view. You can see your first view. It's inside the post app, the view.py there. And this is the code we are picking. Very simple. We are importing HTTP response. Because we are going to be requesting for a page. That's why we're importing HTTP response. From which package? Django.http. And we are creating a simple function that uses that HTTP response to echo out, hello world, you are in the post index. Very, very simple. So once I get back here, I go to my post. And I get to where? Views.py. So inside view.py, simply do what? That's the code. Very simple. And what does the code do? Very simple. The code is importing what? HTTP response from the package Django.http. Why? Because you're going to use that HTTP response to echo out hello world. You are in the what? Post index. And we did that inside the what function known as what? Index. And this function known as index is actually inheriting from, is taking the argument request. Very simple. So do this and click on Control S to save it. So once I do this, I do Control S to save. Are we together on that? Okay. So that's the first view that I've just written. So now inside, in order for me to connect this view so that it can be seen, like we said that Django is using what kind of architecture? Model, view, controller. It has to be the model, which is your what? Database. View is what people see when they get to look. Controller is the logic and the other connection. So I'm gonna create a new file known as URL.py inside the post. And when I create that, I'm going to put in this code there so that it can be able to be linked. So I simply get back to my VS code. Click on post. You have to be on post. Make sure that you're on post. Then click on new file. So what's going to be the name? URL. URL what? S. Isn't it? Dot what? Pi. Very simple. Isn't it? It's as simple as that. So once you're there, simply what? Put in the code. What does the code do? Very, very simple code that does what? From Django URLs package, import path. Because you're going to use path here, that's where you imported path. Then the second one says from dot, from dot. That means from this very folder that you're working on, from this very post app, that you should import the views. Because you want to link up to the views. That's why you must import the views. So what this one does is that it's telling us the URL pattern. What do you type in the address bar in order to be, for you to be linked to this place? We want to simply type in post. That's why this is blank. 
And once you type in books, it's going to lead you to that view function that you created inside your view. The name of that view function is what? Index. If you open index, you're going to see this is, this is the index function. And that's why when you came here, it said name equal to index. And this index is actually from view.index, which is actually these views, this index inside views here. So that's what you need. You simply do control S to save this. Once you save this and you go and rerun your app, you should be able to now go to slash post and see that very right up. So let's do that. Let me get back to my other app, the other terminal that I had before. Let me do control C to stop this server. And let me rerun again by saying Python manage.py run server. So once the development of the server starts, I should be able to go to slash post and see what I want to see there. Okay, this development server is on now. I go to now, my, this is my Django website. I should be able to now say slash post. Okay, I'm seeing an error um, using error config. Select for Django try to okay. Very importantly, I've not added post to my app in the setting. So you remember any app you create, you must add it up. Go to the settings. So this is our settings here. Go to the main uh application elect poster, go to the settings. So I'm supposed to scroll down. These are all my installed apps. I must make sure that I have post app here. Is that clear? So if you get to the website, you see where this was done for you to be clear. So this is what we had created this. And uh, it was now added on the main URL and also the Okay, that should be in part two. Okay, so in your part two, make sure you add it up there. Let me get down to where it was added so that you see it. Good. So these are the apps. So this very app, this is what you want. So in your installed app, make sure that you have post. This is the post app. So I'm gonna simply pick out this line. Then get back to my settings and get it added down here. Okay. Then I'll do Control S to save. Very importantly. But also make sure that you go to the main URL of the project, which is URL.py, this main URL, and now add up the path to that post app. And how do you get the path to that post app? You get back to the first project. This is the part. So inside your major site, make sure you replace it with this. So I'm going to simply pick this up. Then when I get here, I should be able to replace everything here with it. Okay. So this is what I have now. So I'm going to do Control S to save. Yeah. After the settings, I just went to the URL.py of the main app, which is Electron Poster, to connect that very pool to that URL so that it can be seen. So once you do that, your site should be ready to go. So if I come here now and refresh, I'm not saying hello world, you are in the post index. So that's how I created my first view. Uh, should I leave us time to, to check it out? So I'm going to leave us time. And uh, Ola, if you're following now, please get to be on the same page where we are. All the codes I'm giving you, like I said, you're already on the website. And we just went through it very fast. So we're going to do it again. We're going to continue with where we stopped when we'll hook up again.
So we see we are doing a different project now, just from the knowledge of what we did before. Very simple and very straight. Thank you. God bless.